What's going on guys? So, just a couple days ago, we put out a video where we almost made like a hell of a mistake. And we did that by trying to just jump to a conclusion instead of actually, you know, being a mechanic and doing some troubleshooting. We're going to talk about that on this week's Tuesday Morning Tech Tip from Puglisi Speed Shop. So if you guys remember, and if not, go back and check it out. We were not working on this. Now you got a sneak peek to Friday's video. So we were working on my 77 Le Mans. And we were trying to find a coolant leak. Things that happen on older vehicles, especially Pontiacs. If you're a Pontiac guy, I'm sure you can vouch. But we were looking for that. And, and guys, we started going down the wrong road, which... Partially was my, you know, I don't know. I was thinking the worst because sometimes that happens messing with older cars. So I went right to the worst and I didn't think of something so simple that, um, that I probably should have. And instead of looking at the most simplest thing and quite honestly, guys, probably the most obvious thing, I went down a rabbit hole and spent a lot of the video Jacking the car, putting it back on the ground, going all over the place. I had mirrors and lights and everything. And, and even when, even if that was the right thing to do, there was a better way to do it. And I didn't think about it. I didn't think about asking for help. I didn't think about thinking outside the box. All I thought about was, we got to yank this motor. And... Guys, honest to God, I was getting ready to do it. I was like, all right, I was getting tools together to you know, pull the hood off, and it's about to go grab a kid to help me out, all, all that kind of stuff. And all I had to do was uh, change this one screw is all it really took to fix the whole entire problem. I think we found a problem, guys. Still leaking. So there it is. There you go. You guys see that? The freeze plug right there? See right above it's the valve cover. Pretty sure that's seeping. I mean, it's just oil. I know it's oil, so not concerned with that. It looks pretty good, but what we'll do is we'll check the other side because I mean, this is so wet. The leak's not coming from the leak. There's the right side freeze plug. She's looking good. Not concerned with that one at all. I mean, it looks like brand new. There's nothing. No water, no oil, nothing. It's just really shit. All right, guys, check it out. I got good news. Found the leak. If you look, you see the green. Clearly, that's coolant. The line right to the right, the hose there. Something there is leaking, which ironically was where the leak started. I changed. That's the hose I changed. So, that's it. The clamp's coming apart, guys. See it? Trying to get the focus right. It, uh, yeah, so, is that, is that folding over? We got issues over here, guys. That looks like it's, uh, that looks, is that the wrong size hose? I don't, huh, well, the clamp is broken, the hose might be the wrong side. I couldn't even see that until I magnified on this, uh, this here little camera. So, huh. All right, guys. Upon further investigation, that's not the problem at all. That thing looks like it was folded, right? It's amazing what happens when I move that wire, huh? That thing threw a hell of a shadow. And, uh, yeah. Definitely thought it was folded over. Try to show you guys. There you go. You can see how it's cracked. 
See the crack there spread open. Just kind of went in there and got stuck. And... Trash. So now you guys watched that and saw the, well, some of my thoughts there. What do you think the first thing I did wrong was? Just the absolute, I mean, it's pretty simple, guys. I kept looking at other spots, right? We had no problems with the car, right? The car was running great um, up until... <laughs> right? So, uh, yeah, it was running great until it wasn't. There was, there, there was that. And then, um, so I, uh, that heater hose blew. Not a big deal, right? It happens. I swapped it out and uh, it kept leaking and overheating. And then I start chasing everything else. I should have gone right back there because we had zero problems until that simple thing broke, right? And I'm like, oh no, I fixed that. So now it's gotta be something else. Why would I think that? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it guys. There's no reason for me to think that it was anything else. But yeah, I could have broke something else when it overheated or, oh, yeah, it did overheat. There's no question about that. So, but instead of that, um, I was like, no, I fixed it. It's good. When, so that, that clamp was loose. Well, it was cracked. That's why it was loose. I was talking to Jay about it at work one day, and he's like, so what you're saying is you did over torque it and just broke it, and that's what happened. And that's a solid assumption. <laughs> I got to say, that probably... That's more like my MO than it just not being tight, right? Because I know I, that was not what happened. So, I mean, these things happen. Like when I used to work with Kevin all the time, he would tell me, he's like, hey, man, you're only getting a quarter inch ratchet because anything else you're going to overtour. I just don't want stuff to leak. And, and what's funny is here, think about it. I'm doing things wrong. I did it wrong. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I don't even talk about the troubleshooting part because I definitely overtorqued that clamp. Now, was it towards the end of its life? Probably. Did I rush it along? Yeah, obviously, right? So by me doing, I, I don't want this to leak, and uh, cause it to leak. So definitely counterproductive, and just proof that doing things right is probably the right way to go. Everything's got a torque on it, guys. I mean, we don't talk about it, but everything does, right? So. I mean, just be in the ballpark. I'm not telling you to put a torque wrench on a freaking clamp. I'm telling you, you know what roundabout was supposed to be. You see the guys, they got the little butterfly things on them. I thought the kid put like a picture up or something. Um, little adapters, a little, little thing that goes on those hose clamps. And this, you see Vice Grip, he uses them all the time. And, uh, you know, because he's always swapping out fuel filters and stuff, right? This stuff doesn't leak. Well, <laughs> from there anyways. So... If that's all you need is a little butterfly, then why am I there? I, 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 I promise you I had a ratchet on it. I might have had a screwdriver. Actually, and that was outside. I probably had a screwdriver on it. and like, mm. so there's no need for it. I just, uh, I don't have an answer. I just, I know that's a problem. And I'm working on it, guys. All right? But what I'm trying to tell you in this roundabout way is look at the last thing you worked on. Because nine times out of ten, that's where the problem is, you know? You, you might have done something a little bit wrong. Maybe you got a bad part. Maybe you over -torqued something. Maybe you didn't tighten something up enough, you know? And then I went down the, the other rabbit hole worrying about, and it didn't take me very long to figure out, but I on why I would think that that hose was folded over. I put that on there. I knew it wasn't that, you know, it wasn't loose like that. It was the right size for that. And I think I actually had kind of ramming home on the other one because the other side that was a little bit different size so probably a specialty hose that i'm clearly not going to buy but uh yeah that's that's it guys go back to where you started you know don't and i got something else i mentioned it could have been a better way of doing that like i'm looking for everything now jack in the car getting in with a light and a flashlight and a, and a, and a, and a mirror and all that yeah, that's, that's how you look for stuff. That's great. But something I always forget is uh, it's 2023, right? So you could shoot up to like Harbor Freight and buy a boroscope for like 60 bucks or something. I don't know. They're stupid cheap, right? 
And, uh, or when I was talking to Jay, he's like, oh, I got a boroscope, man. You wanted to borrow it? So I actually could have boroscoped and looked at that, that freeze plug. Where on the video, I was like, well, the only way you can find out is to pull the motor. That's not true anymore, guys. It used to be true, you know, before all this uh, science and technology and stuff like that, which I'm not a big fan of, and I'm sure you guys figured that out, but there are parts of it that will help you out. So it's probably something I'm going to add to, um, you know, my tool inventory because, like I said, it's not very expensive, and I'm sure it could help me out. You know, like right there, I could have easily, you know, borescoped it. And for me to think... There's a lot of jumping conclusions I did there, guys. You know, I had an idea like that once, a long time ago. Really, what was it, Tom? Well, all right. It was a jump to conclusions, Matt. You see, it would be this mat that you would put on the floor and would have different conclusions written on it that you could jump to. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes. Yes, it's horrible, this idea. Because, uh, like I said, the motor was built about 10,000 miles ago. It runs great, so I have no inkling to believe that it wasn't done right, you know? Um, and then the other ones all look good. Why would you not have changed the freeze plugs when you build a motor? It's just it's how things, you know, it's just the right way to do stuff. And I'm pretty sure he did. Judging by the other ones, he did. But, well, I mean, you never know 100% unless you're there, right? But uh, either way, there was better ways to do it. And I did not execute any of those. Luckily, uh, I, I noticed a little bit of coolant on top of the motor, and I realized that there was no way that that freeze plug was shooting up on top of the motor. So that's how I figured it out. But it was a long way to get there, guys. So... Maybe I could have got you a better video. Maybe I could have fixed the transmission leak. Maybe I would have remembered to tighten the alternator. I don't know. But make sure you guys keep watching because, well, once we get this guy out of here, the monster's coming back in and we're about to get after it. So keep watching, guys. Appreciate it.